In this video, we will show you how to replace your rear shock assembly. On the Chevy Malibu, this is part of your rear suspension located behind your rear wheel. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing you need to do is safely raise and support the rear of the vehicle so the wheel's off the ground. Once you've done so, continue on to removing all five of your 22 millimeter lug nuts and then the wheel. The next thing we'll have to do is apply a light amount of pressure underneath your rear lower control arm. While holding pressure under that area, let's continue on to removing the lower mounting bolt that holds the lower shock to your rear knuckle. You'll find this is held in place with a 21 millimeter headed mounting bolt and a 21 millimeter mounting nut. The nut is on the outboard side here, we'll hold that with a wrench. Making our way back up into the wheel well here, we'll make sure we're holding on to the rear shock. Continue on to removing your two 18 millimeter headed bolts that hold the shock mount to the body of the vehicle. Let's get this over to the bench. Over on the bench, we can start separating these two. We'll be using locking pliers to hold the shaft right up along this area. Inside this top port of the mount is where you're going to find that 15 millimeter nut. As I mentioned, ours is pretty rotted inside there. I'm gonna have to pick that out and we'll use a 15 millimeter. You may have to adjust your locking pliers if you find the shock shaft spins. Let's give this a quick inspection. I am replacing ours. Make sure your is reusable. We'll set this aside. Let's get this off of here. Remove this protective cover. Give it a quick inspection. Make sure it's reusable. Before we can start installing our brand new rear shock, it's important to make sure that you charge it and remove the protective strap. To do this, carefully press down on this upper portion. Remove the strap and let this completely decompress. After it's fully decompressed, continue on by pressing it down. Once it's fully compressed, let it re-decompress and repeat this process several times. Okay friend, let's get ready to install our brand new rear shock. Let's prepare it first. Now you will have this protective cover that you have to slide on the shaft, but what you'll find is when you do slide it onto the shaft, it can just rattle around. To prevent that, Use a couple wire ties. We'll be using our two wire ties up along the top here, not down along the bottom because we don't want to cause any restriction. Let's tighten this up on here. Just make sure these are nice and tight as we go here. It's good to try to prevent these from sliding down the shaft. Once again, we do not want to cause any restriction in the shock. Make sure that's tight as can be. Let's get this installed. Just slide the shaft right on through the center portion there. Hardest part's just getting it in there. Okay. At this point, we're going to have to slide this down just enough that we can also put another wire tie up along the top area there. When putting this together, keep in mind you do have to have the mount along the top. If you need to, you can carefully start pressing this down.
Now it's time to install the rear mount. We'll slide this onto the shaft of the rear shock. Continue on with your mounting nut. Now we can continue tightening this mounting nut. Once you have it tight, torque it to 15 foot pounds. To tighten this 16 millimeter headed mounting nut, you're going to find that the shaft of the rear shock will want to spin. To hold this still, we're going to carefully use some locking pliers once again up along the top area of the shock piston, never down low on the piston. While holding this, let's go ahead and bottom that out and then torque it to 15 foot-pounds. Let's get this in the vehicle. Let's get this shock in here, being careful for our fender. Start aligning it with the body up along the top here. Once you have it in position, we'll continue on with our two mounting bolts. If you're going to use anything, use a little bit of blue thread locker, never red, and never use any type of grease. Now let's make our way to where the lower shock connects to your knuckle. As we come down here, you may find that you either have to raise or lower the suspension to get it to align with that shock. Slide the bolt through, start on your 21 millimeter headed mounting nut. Continue on to snugging this mounting bolt, torquing it to 111 foot pounds. Once you have that torqued, continue tightening it an additional 60 degrees. Let's get this out from under here. Now it's time to snug our two 18 millimeter upper mount bolts. Once you have both of those bottomed out, torque those to 74 foot pounds. One last thing before we put the wheel on, double check to confirm you tightened and torqued everything as necessary. All right, let's get the wheel on here. Start on all five of your 22 millimeter lug nuts. Bottom them out. Get the wheel safely back down on the ground and then we'll torque each of these lug nuts to 110 foot pounds. With the wheel back on the ground, we'll be torquing these in a crisscross manner. Torqued. Okay, friend, we've got our vehicle back together. The process for one side of the vehicle is the exact same thing as the other. Once you've done that, go ahead and take your vehicle for a road test, and we always recommend getting yourself a four-wheel alignment. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.